up, y'all? Welcome to another edition of Eatsley's Attic. It's your boy Eatsley, and today we're gonna look at this dude right here. This vato right here is the dopest Suicide Squad member, hands down. So I'm not much into DC, but I do really love this character. I think they did an amazing job with him. You know, thank you for for representing Chicanos, right? Some people are gonna be like, yo, he he re he represents a negative stereotype of, of Chicanos, right? And I, excuse me, I totally disagree. Um, I think I think the Cholo culture, because it is a culture, the uh, Cholo, Chola, Cholex, however you want to describe it or represent it, I think it's dope, man. I think I think it's something that uh, has lived on for many generations and is going to continue living on. You know, the fashion, the the statement, the way the way they you know just they represent you know the people. It's it's always going to be a part a, a part of 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 La Raza, right? So um, it, it really it really made me proud and, and happy that um, you know that there is this representation because representation matters y'all it matters right um, the only like action figures or toys that I've seen that have to do with like cholos is probably like like the homies right these little homies um, I, I think I believe the first episode of Eastley's Attic I had a few I found the rest of them so I kind of I kind of put them up see they're all over here right but anyways that's the last time I really saw like like a cholo toy or a cholo action figure right um, so I, I got super happy my brother bought me this for it was either Christmas or birthday I forget but you know um, here he is um, so just to uh, talk about this action figure the character is, is awesome and there's been different um, there's been different Diablos right this was my favorite right I really, I really dig, I really dig the look, you know, the, the, the tattoos, the face tattoos, you know, with, with the skull, um, and this dude's just fire, get it, because, anyways, um, so let's talk about this, let's talk about this dude right here, Diablo, right, so first off, I didn't, I don't, I don't own any of these new, uh, DC action figures, any of these, the DC Comics Multiverse, I don't, this is the only one that I own. All right, because like I, I stated before, I'm a Marvel person, right? So I didn't even know, like, I didn't know that Mattel, Mattel made these. So that's that's a good choice for for DC. Mattel makes some really good action figures. Uh, right now, like the Mattels that I buy are, are are you know WWE figures, right? So so I, I was like, all right, all right, cool. It's, it's Mattel. That's 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 a good uh, it's a good way to go, DC. Right? I'll give you a, I'll give you that, right? Um, so it, you know, it shows it shows Diablo, Diablo right here in the front, like his face, how he looks, and everything. And then it says Suicide Squad Diablo. Um, I like that right here on the top, right your top right. It says for the adult collector. So that doesn't make me feel bad or guilty or like childish for collecting action figures because they say up here for the adult collector. So, so thank you DC, thank you for that, thank you for uh for justifying me purchasing action figures at my age, right? Thank you. Um, I, I, I like that. So, um, on the back, it doesn't really give a description the way I, like some of the, you know, like Marvel Legends, like gives a description, so, eh. but it does, it does give you like an example of like the other action figures that are part of this line. Just like in WWE, they do the same thing. So uh, I like that. I like that. I like that they have uh, like they're promoting the other action figures. You see the sides is another picture of, of Diablo, right? Which is cool. Um, just the warnings. But yeah, so um, let's let's open this guy up, huh? Let's open him up. Wait. All right, here we go. All right, so. This Diablo comes with two sets of hands. Right? So the first set is get out of there. is the one with with the with the fire, right? With the flames. So he's got like flame hands, right? So this is super cool, right? Um, he has two sets of regular hands, 
I'm gonna keep them in there for now because I don't. I mean, I like I like these. I like these. These are cool. He's like ready to strike. I really love in the in the suicide Suicide Squad in the action fi the um, motion picture that uh, I guess when he turned like like uh, you know when he was facing that uh, not not the, the the antagonist of the of the movie but her her like sidekick that he turned. He, he turned into like an Aztec like like warrior like do thing like an Aztec warrior like you see the copili and like you know just like it all was, I, I, I do danza I do Aztec dance so seeing that like I you know I got goosebumps I was like you know my eyes got all watery like oh like I'm telling you representation matters right um, but that was cool that, that he brought he, he summoned that like he, he was so like like just like 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 human torch a flame on but instead of turning like a like human torchy you know he turned to this grand like Aztec warrior you know like that was that was so dope that was so dope like I don't know I can't even that was amazing I wasn't expecting that so I really I really like that they did that um, but hey let's take a let's take a look at this guy and, and we'll do a little close-up so here is fire hands there's a little jacket. If you look in the back, it says the Hillsiders, East Los Angeles. That's probably like the gang that he's in. And then it gives a year of 1922. I'm assuming that's when it was founded, right? Um, on the front it says Diablo. And then in the back of his head, he has HS13 um, tat tatted, right? These are all his tattoos. HS standing for Hillsiders. Now, as I said before, like, Cholo culture is, is bomb. Like, it's the bomb, you know? Like, me, myself, I'm I'm Eatsley, right? This is Eatsley's attic, but I'm I am <clears throat> excuse me. I'm Eatsley, aka the Cholo nerd. All right, the Cholo nerd. That's me. That's Eatsley. I'm gonna make merch that says Cholo nerd, and y'all gonna know that that's that's me. I do want to compare this being a, a Mattel DC figure to uh, Luis, right? Luis is Marvel Legends. He's a he's a Marvel action figure, right? And um, I wanted to compare them because uh, not because they're cons or ex cons, but because they're two Chicanos, right? There's two Chicanos right here, Luis and Diablo. Um, Luis stole the, sh the the spotlight from Ant Man, right? He did an awesome job. But um, yeah. So let's 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 compare the. Uh, points of articulation or you know I'll do the best that I can so uh, Marvel Legends uh, DC Multiverse so they can both move their heads right side to side up and down so there's a ball joint underneath same thing with Luis right um, this guy can move his torso back and front not too far back, but you know, move that. So can wait, can Luis? I can't even tell because he's got his jacket on. Hey, you know what? Yeah, he can. He can move his, his torso back and front. He can move his arms up and down and out, just like Diablo. Diablo, let's see. Okay, they both have a, a a point of articulation right under the deltoid, right under the shoulder, right. Um, he's got a single jointed. He's got a single jointed elbow where Luis actually has a double jointed. See, so he can he can bend a little bit more. He's got two joints to bend his elbow. Uh, Luis can also move his wrist around back and forth, but there's a hinge. So can Diablo, right? And Diablos are detachable. I don't know who Luis is. I don't know if I should try. No, I don't want to try that. Um, what else? Diablo can twist his waist right it's a little low on the uh, abdominal on the torso it's a little low Luis can too this one's a little higher uh, Diablo has his hinge so he can he can move he can kick like back and forth and he's got a hinge like these extra hinges so we, so we can like move his legs out right Luis 
can too, but not as far as Diablo. Luis also has uh, a point of articulation in the upper thigh. Right? He also has a double jointed uh, knee. Diablo, his point of articulation is in the lower thigh, right above the knee. He's got a single jointed knee. And Diablo also is his foot. You can move it back and forth, right? So he's got hinges where the feet are, the shoes. Luis has that too, but he can also he can also move his shoes side to side to uh, pose them a little better. So they're pretty similar. Um, you know, I, I uh, Mattel did a good job. It's it's very uh, similar to the the actual character from the movies. Uh, I really dig the the um, like the detail in his tattoos. Like I really dig that. And like the skull on his face. He's just a really cool dude. Um, I'm very very happy to have him. All right, so this is Diablo. Um, one of my only DC characters. I'm not sure if I'm gonna buy any more. Um, I do like the Joker. Uh, I I have a love hate relationship with Batman because you know he's cool. He looks cool, but like just the stuff that he supports, I'm kind of like ugh. Like I I uh I would choose Diablo over Batman at a fight any day he just this is a lot of well they both those characters have a lot of layers um but yeah joker joker is awesome uh, he's he's one of my favorite dc characters he always he always has been so i want to thank everybody for joining me at easley's attic it's your boy easley here with diablo i will see you the next time peace